Mount Denali, Alaska, the summer of 1992, geologists from the United States Geological Survey conduct geological scans of the mountain and discover a big-ass pyramidal structure beneath it. Now, obviously intrigued and probably a little bit confused, the team of geologists conduct a seismograph test and not only do they confirm there's a pyramid over 150 feet below the mountain, but this big bastard stands nearly 550 feet tall and is nearly twice the size of the Great Pyramid at Giza. However, no further testing was conducted that we know of, and the discovery itself was never really mentioned again, at least not to us. So no one really paid it any attention. That is until some whistleblowing motherfuckers, well, blew the whistle. And as they tell it, beneath the rocks and ice of Mount Denali is a massive pyramid made from black stone that is producing enough energy to power an entire country. The United States military is aware they're down there right now monitoring the shit out of it because we didn't make it, the aliens did, and apparently there's more than one location. Now, as you can imagine, a lot of people call Boshi on this one, and to be honest, that's fair. That being said, shockingly, a lot of people also didn't because, well, I mean, it's Alaska. Mysterious disappearance? Disappeared Mysterious last Friday objects. night. Alaska Spotted! Big Finished without a trace. Fucking prime real estate for everything mysterious. So, claiming there's an alien pyramid under one of their mountains? Yeah pretty much on par with what seems to be the norm over there in Alaska. Except this claim comes with incredibly credible, tangible evidence. Those geological scans and seismograph tests conducted by the United States Geological Survey, which did detect a big-ass pyramid beneath the mountain, confirming the accounts from the witnesses who claim to have either found evidence of the Black Pyramid, like former Army intelligence specialists, let's just say Mr. X, who back in 1983 received a top-secret telecommunications message titled Alaska and Black Pyramid. And, and we noticed the subject line on it was Alaskan Black Pyramid. They were shipping in truckloads of generators and lights to be able to get into it to see it from the inside out. Or witnesses who claim to have actually been inside this big bastard, like former Western Electric engineer, let's say Mr. Z, who back in the 1970s was contracted by the government to examine the structure, and as he puts it, just west of the mountain is a large freight elevator that leads down to the pyramid where, according to Mr. Z, dozens of specialists are working measuring the energy output of the pyramid, which is apparently enough to power the entire fucking country of Canada. Now. Here's the thing, I understand that anonymous whistleblowers by their very nature are some shitty ass motherfuckers because, well, you're anonymous and technically a tattletale. That being said, it doesn't necessarily mean they're not telling the truth. Case in point, Bob Lazar, who was the first to claim that Area 51 was real, but initially he remained anonymous due to the fear from the government, which turned out to be a valid concern after the government threatened his life, at which point he went public and lived, but his reputation was shattered and we never really heard too much from him again, until 2013, when a Freedom of Information request finally revealed the base was real and now that motherfucker is everywhere which by the way is a great life lesson for all you aspiring whistleblowers out there don't be anonymous and definitely put yourself out there because the alternative is well not so great case in point that other location in alaska just 130 miles up the street where witnesses claim an alien structure exists under a mountain however this one is called mount hayes and the story of its discovery is pretty fucking trippy and sadly kind of ironic Let's travel back to the height of the Cold War and a top secret CIA program codenamed Stargate, which involved the CIA experimenting with a psychic ability known as remote viewing, in which an individual can project their mind to any given location and experience it as if they were there, turning that individual into a type of psychic spy. Which I know, sounds like some conspiracy theory boshi, but it's not. It's 100% real, and we know this from declassified CIA documents. Now. Here's where things get trippy. One of the more notable individuals who could remote view was a man named Patrick Price, a confirmed participant in Project Stargate. And as the story goes, one day Mr. Price was asked by the CIA to project himself to Mount Hayes to see if there was anything there of interest. So Price does his remote control shit, projects himself to Mount Hayes where he sees a strange looking door. Curious, he goes through that door and what he sees shakes him to his very core, claiming there were structures highly advanced technology, corridors leading to offices and labs, and in them, he saw humanoid looking creatures. Now, here's the ironic part. Not too long after this, he told his family about the incident, claiming he saw something he wasn't supposed to see and that his life was in danger. Crazy, right? Well, not so much, because just a few weeks later after that, 
Patrick Price was found dead in a Las Vegas hotel room. Now, all of that being said, is it a verified fact that a big ass alien pyramid exists beneath the rocks and ice of Mount Denali? Of course not. Do I think it's out of the realm of possibilities? Not at all, because if there's one thing whistleblowing bastards and shit ass crazy conspiracy theorists have taught us is that well, they usually end up being right, and although I'm skeptical, I wouldn't be surprised if they're right about this one too. But hey, that's just my opinion. I could be wrong. I've been wrong before. What do you think?